This is your morning brief for Tuesday, May 21st. Semis continue to get slammed in the market uh, yesterday. Uh, the trade wars have been just devastating to this uh, group. It is part of the intellectual property problem um, and just uh, exchanging of the, uh, the parts and everything is just a mess. Um, I think we could have maybe anticipated some issues with the trade war. What I don't think we could have anticipated was the U.S. banning Huawei from buying from U.S. companies. And uh, that put another leg down on these semis uh, that were already kind of getting hit in the trade wars. Um, although I think it's completely overdone. Let me give you an example. So I just, just looked up a bunch of them. Month to date, Skyworks is down 23%. Micron is down 18%. KLA 10 cores down 17, Intel down 15, and there's there's more. Um, but let's focus just on Skyworks for a minute. It's down 23% in like a flash, really, about a week and a half. Um, and yet, only 5% of the revenue comes from Huawei. So really, yeah, there are some other issues, global slowdown, there's some stuff going on but if you're a big believer in the 5g rollout which is coming you know really we're right on the we're right on the edge of that rollout so in a quarter or two we're going to start getting this stuff phones are going to be upgraded to 5g networks are going to be upgraded and uh, if you're a believer which i am you're more of a buyer this doesn't even bother you so um and it's pain it's not what we would have preferred but um, looks like you can pick up a few more shares if you needed to, if you, if you didn't think your position was uh, strong enough um, and you had the cash, of course. But regardless, this is a buying opportunity more than anything else. Now, a lot of these are also up in pre-market. So, uh, you know, at some point, obviously, they're going to bounce back. I, I think you be, you got to be buying. I mean, Skyworks went, hit 79. It's now under under. It's about 68, 66, I think it hit yesterday. Um, okay, earnings reports. A ton of earnings, uh, very retail-oriented. We have AutoZone, Home Depot, JCPenney, Kohl's, and TJX companies before the bell. Um, at the time of shooting, I do have some data. It could change a little bit but uh, in terms of the shares, uh, but not in terms of what the actual reports were. Um, AutoZone beat same-store sales. Uh, rising 3.9%, uh, sending the shares about 2.3% higher. This has just been an absolute gem in our vernacular. Um, Home Depot misses top line but beat earnings per share. Shares are down 1%. That makes sense to me. Uh, Home Depot's had a tremendous run, a little bit of an earnings or uh, a top line miss. Yeah, should probably come down a little bit. Uh, J.C. Penny on their hand misses top line, misses bottom line, uh, and it was a loss too, and it was a bigger loss than expected. It's already you know tough. Even if you beat a loss, it's not the greatest. I mean, it's okay. Uh, and then same store sales are down 5.5 percent. That's big. Shares are down 10 percent in pre-market. Uh, Kohl's very similar to J.C. Penny missed estimates. And same store sales, cut guidance, uh, sending shares 9% lower. Uh, TJX had not released earnings at the time of the shooting, but it's a completely different animal. I expect uh, it to be a completely, it's not going to be correlated to what we just saw from JCPenney and Kohl's. Um, now, that's not to say you can't miss or anything, but it's just not in the same boat. Um, in fact, I kind of think they'll, they'll do a little bit better. All right, in other news, the Warriors sweep. They await the winners of the Bucks and Raptors. Uh, Bucks lead the series 2-1. to one. Um, Although the Warriors swept, it wasn't as definitive as that may sound. Every game was tight. Blazers had the chance to win every single one of those games. Um, but, you know, the champions are just so hard to knock off. Even when, you, even when you're so close, you can do it. They only lost by two last night. Um, and uh, it's just unfortunate for them, but that's what champions do. Uh, Blues and Sharks continue to battle. Blues have a 3-2 series lead in the Western Conference. They will play the, they will play Boston, uh, who swept Carolina 4-0. Um, Blues and Sharks go tonight, as well as the Raptors and Bucks. So that's your uh, morning brief for Tuesday, May 21st. Let's go find some more gems.